All right, this is Advent of Code Day 4, starting in now. Bingo. Uh, okay. I see. Unmarked numbers on the board, multiplied by the number that just got called. Sure. Uh, okay. Boards are all five by five? Probably. No idea if this is right.
Good. Nothing. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, decent. Not code today. Uh, Uh, so that prints out the two answers. Okay, so how does this work? Oh. <laughs> so, okay, so first we parse the input. So that's what's going on here. This was garbage from the template. Uh, so first read the list of numbers. That should be the top line. Um, and then read all the boards, and they're separated by blank lines. Uh, and I'm just sort of claiming that they're five by five. So I guess let me insert that. Uh, right, so we're going to keep track of all the boards. We're going to keep track of all the squares that have been marked. Um, and then this is just sort of the current board, right? So for non-empty lines, sort of add them to the current board. And otherwise, uh, when we see a blank line, you know, that's a new board. Or if it's the first blank line, it's, it might be empty. And also at the end, we need to add the final board. Uh, so they should all be five by five. And initially, we have no scores marked. And then we're just going to go through all the numbers and go through all the boards and mark all those numbers and then check if we won. And so we win uh, either if a row is completely filled or if a column is completely filled. Uh, so this is checking the. Uh, rows, I suppose. Right, so is the zero with row completely filled? Well, check that column. Uh, so if if anything in that column is not filled, then this column does not win. And if the column does win, then the board wins. Uh, the row wins, rather. 
Similarly, uh, for each column, uh, check if that column wins, right? That is if all the cells in it are marked. And then if the board won, uh, mark that that board wins. Well, so if the board won and it hadn't already won, then mark that it wins. Uh, check how many boards have won now. And for part one, we want to print out the first board that wins. And for part two, we want to print out the last board that wins. Uh, so I guess we also keep track of this one array. You know, for each board, has it finished yet or not? Um, and then uh, we compute the score of the board, which is just the sum of the unmarked numbers uh, times the sort of the current number that we're on. Um, so, yeah. I think I prefer just bi instead of lowercase b. Uh, so that's the right answer. Cool. Yeah, this is kind of ugly code. Like, I'm sure there's a much nicer way to do this parsing. Um, this part is okay. Uh, right. Taking all the rows, and then this part's fine. Yeah, so I guess it's just the parsing that I think is, is quite ugly, the way I did it. I'm sure there's a nicer way. Um... But anyway, yeah, that is it for day four. How am I doing on the leaderboard? Seven. All right, after last day's disaster, we're back. Uh, cool, see you tomorrow.